Hello, this is Tim Knight from InvestTools, here to talk to you about the left scale price access and profit charts. Uh, this is an extremely useful feature in the program because it allows you to compare two very differently priced objects. Now when I say compare, I'm not speaking of the comparison chart feature, which uh, can create a price or a percentage comparison. I'm speaking about something altogether different. One place this is useful is in the world of options trading. Typically an option is going to be priced very, very differently from its underlying security. So for example, if we look at the uh, stock Caterpillar, it's a $76 stock, whereas if we look at one of its options, CAT-WO, uh, this is a $3 option. So if we were to simply compare these two, Using the standard comparison chart, we could type in um, CAT to compare it to CAT WO on a price basis, and we get a graph which isn't terribly useful because the scale being used uh, isn't really appropriate for something which is priced at a 20-fold difference from one another. There's a better way to do this. So we'll go to comparison chart again and delete that and show you the left scale technique. So here we have CAT-WO, the option. We go to left scale and we choose add left price scale chart. And it asks us what we would like to add to compare. And uh, CAT is here, so I'll just click on add. And we could put in anything at all, but I'm gonna use the CAT. And the important thing here is that on the left side, in this case, there's a scale for the y-axis range and from the $70 range to the $80 range for, for CAT. And on the right side is a much lower priced scale ranging from about $1 to $7 for the option. And as you can see here, these two items are plotted with one another uh, in a much tighter space and in a way which is a lot easier to read. We could change the style of graph to make it even easier to read, in this case a line chart. And we can see here the uh, blue line corresponding to the blue axis, which is the stock, versus the black line corresponding to the black axis, which is the option. These are moving inversely correlated to one another because, as you can see from the description, this is a put option, which goes up in price as the stock goes down and vice versa. You don't have to compare options and stocks to one another, however. Uh, you can compare any object to any other object the big difference between this and comparison, besides using different axes, is that uh, you can only compare two things at a time. Whereas with a standard comparison chart, you could put many different items for comparison. But just to illustrate, uh, instead of uh, comparing these two, let me punch in, for example, the computer maker Dell, D-E-L-L. -L, and I'll add Apple, which is a competitor of theirs, to that. And now we have these two charts. On the left side, we have Apple scale, which is in the triple digits. And Dell, which is not fared as well as Apple, is down in the high 20s. But we can still see how these two graphs compare to one another in spite of their very large price difference.